Hey guys, what's up? Bond there, doing a review of Rush and Attack for the NES. Not to, not to get mixed up with Rush and Attack, it's Rush and Attack. It's one of Konami's best games, but then again, all their games are great. But yeah, this is Rush and Attack. And as you can see, you're a guy running through an enemy, sent to an enemy base with only a knife. I don't know what the general was thinking. I mean, either either the general was stupid, or he really hated the guy. Because I don't know, maybe he slept with his wife or daughter, or stole all his money. Lots of possibilities. Anyway, you're a guy running through a base with only a knife, and occasionally you, you'll, some guys will drop weapons, you can pick it up, but you only get three shots, that's it, three shots, uh, you take out everybody on the screen, or in, in that direction that you're shooting, as you can see it was very useful for the boss. By the way, as you can see, the you know title is very misleading. I mean, the picture is very misleading because as, as you can see, he was firing that weapon, but you're really running around the base with a small knife. Rush and Attack is a fairly challenging game. It's not as hard as Castlevania or any of those other tough games, but. You will find a good challenge, and if you're looking for a good challenge, you should definitely pick up this game, because I had a lot of fun playing it, and I think you will too. This game is on a variety of consoles, um, if, uh, if you don't want to buy an NES, but you want a portable version of it, you can still pick it up for um, Game Boy, if you have a Nintendo DS or DS Lite, then you're in luck. The controls are a bit strange, but you know, you, you get used to them, um, because it's one of those games where up is to jump. But then again, they really didn't have, you know, much options because, you know, they don't, they don't want up to be the weapon you fire with. So they were limited by the buttons, by the number of buttons they had on the controller because uh, left, left is to, you know, left and right is to move, down is to prone, up is to jump, B is to jab with a little crappy knife, and A is to fire the weapon that you're holding. Here's a look at the two-player mode. Um, I'm the blue guy. My buddy is the red guy. By the way, the knives on the top left and top right represent the number of lives you have. Oh, as you can see, I'm saving my rocket launcher for the boss. I mean, the boss isn't really hard. I mean, all you need is a turbo controller. Just hold the knife down and boom, they're dead. 
By the way, I was, I was using the NES Max, but I was not using the Turbo option because, you know, I wanted to play fair. My, my buddy here is using the Turbo Controller. He's using the Advantage. Anyway guys, thanks for watching my review of Rush and Attack. Uh, comment, rate, thumbs up, sign up for the link below, and yeah, peace you guys. Uh, yeah, subscribe.